Introduction Dhyan Chand was an Indian hockey player and one of the greatest hockey players in the history of the sport. He was known for his extraordinary goal-scoring feats, in addition to earning three Olympic gold medals. In 1928, 1932 and 1936, during an era where India dominated field hockey, his influence extended beyond these victories, as India won the field hockey event in seven out of eight Olympics from 1928 to 1964. Dhyan Chand was born in Allahabad on August 29, 1905 in a Rajput family. He was one of the most prominent Indian field hockey players. He was the elder brother of another hockey player Roop Singh, and the son of Shirad Singh and Sam Eshwar Singh. Young Chand had no serious inclination towards sports, though he loved wrestling. He stated that he did not remember whether he played any hockey worth mentioning before he joined the army. The Hindi word Chan literally means the moon. Since Dhyan Singh used to practice a lot during the night after his duty hours, he used to wait for the moon to come out so that the visibility in the field, during his era there were no floodlights, improved. He was hence called Chand. Dhyan Chand family tree has five Olympic gold medals, one Olympic bronze, one World Cup gold, one World Cup silver and one World Cup bronze medal. Dhyan Chand was married to Janaki Devi just before the 1936 Olympics. They had seven sons. They were based in Jhansi. The eldest son Bridge Mohan represented his state in the nationals. On August 29, 1922, his 17th birthday, Chand enlisted in the first Brahmins of the British Indian Army as a sepoy. Between 1922 and 1926, Chand exclusively played army hockey tournaments and regimental games. Chand was ultimately selected for the Indian Army team which was to tour New Zealand. The team won 18 matches, drew two and lost only one, receiving praise from all spectators. Following this, in the two test matches against the New Zealand squad, the team won the first and narrowly lost the second. Returning to India, Chand was promoted to Lansnake in 1927. After successfully lobbying for reintroducing field hockey in the Olympics, the newly formed Indian Hockey Federation, IHF, made preparations to send its best possible team for the 1928 Amsterdam Olympics. In 1925, an inter-provincial tournament was held to select the team members. Five teams participated in the inaugural nationals, United Provinces, UP, Punjab, Bengal, Rajputana and Central Provinces. Chand got permission from the army to play for the United Provinces team. It was the best match that I played in. I will unhesitatingly say that it was the 1933 Baton Cup final between Calcutta Customs and Jhansi Heroes. Calcutta Customs was a great side those days. They had Shokhat Ali, Azad Ali, Claude Defholtz, Seaman, Mosin, and many others who were then in the first flight of Indian hockey. I had a very young side, besides my brother Roop Singh, and Ismail, who played for the Great Indian Peninsula Railway in Mumbai, I had no other really great player in the team, but I had a team which was determined to do or die, it was a great match, full of thrills, and it was just opportunism that gave us the victory, customs were pressing hard and our goal was at their mercy, suddenly I broke through and from midfield gave a long through pass to Ismail, who ran with Jesse Owens speed half the length of the ground. A misunderstanding occurred between the customs left half and the goalkeeper, and Ismail, taking every advantage of it, cut through and netted the only goal of the match. We felt very proud of our triumph. In December 1935, the IHF decided to stage the inter-provincial tournament to select the Olympic team. Chand was selected without formalities. The final team assembled in Delhi on the 16th of June and played against the Delhi Hockey the 11th. Incredibly, they lost 4-1. On the 17th of July, the Indian team played a practice match against Germany and lost 4-1. On the 5th of August, India won its first match against Hungary 4-0. India won the rest of the group matches against USA. India and Germany were to clash in the 1936 Berlin Olympics field hockey final on the 19th of August. On the eve of the match, the players were nervous as to what the result of the match would be, which was heightened by the feeling that the burden of the country's honor was on their shoulders. 
The game was played at a fast pace and was packed with thrilling incidents. Twice Dara attempted to score but was declared offside. Diane Chan discarded his spiked shoes and stockings and played with bare legs and rubber soles and became speedier in the second half. Uh Endspiel im Hockey zwischen der indischen Wundermannschaft und Deutschland. Indien in weißer Tracht, Deutschland in dunkler. Lange leistet Deutschland Widerstand, um schließlich doch der Kunst der Inder sich zu beugen. Final years and awards. Chand played internationally from 1926 to 1949. He scored 570 goals in 185 matches according to his autobiography, Goal. After 34 years of service, Chand retired from the Indian Army on August 29, 1956 as a lieutenant. The government of India honored him the same year by conferring him the Padma Bhushan, India's third highest civilian honor. After retirement, he taught at coaching camps at Mount Abu, Rajasthan. Later, he accepted the position of chief hockey coach at the National Institute of Sports, Peshila, a post he held for several years. Chand spent his last days in his hometown of Jhansi, Uttar Pradesh, India. Chand died on December 3, 1979 at the All India Institute of Medical Sciences, Delhi. His birthday, August 29, is celebrated as National Sports Day in India every year. Dhyan Chand remains a legendary figure in Indian and world hockey. His skills have been glorified in various apocryphal stories and anecdotes. A number of such these revolve around the fact that Singh had an extraordinary control over dribbling the ball. Chand's birthday, August 29th, is celebrated as National Sports Day in India. India, the 20th National War 2012. The Gem of India, awarded by the Union Minister of India, was given to Dhyan Chand. The award was received by Dhyan Chand's son, Ashok Dhyan Chand, a hockey Olympian in his own right. India's highest award for lifetime achievement in sports is the Dhyan Chand Award which has been awarded annually from 2002 to sporting figures who not only contribute through their performance but also contribute to the sport after their retirement. The National Stadium Delhi was renamed Dhyan Chand National Stadium in 2002 in his honor. This is not a game of hockey, but magic. Dhyan Chand is in fact the magician of hockey. Thank you.